So 2003 shows the height of where we reached and I think from there unfortunately it was a downward slope. So where Staffy is formed was we realized there was a very big gap in the development structure of Kenyan cricket. And in order to bridge that gap we had to start from the grassroots level to make sure we had a very strong foundation of players who were participating in cricket. So that's why we formed this company um, and the cricket division especially because we also work with football, tennis and other sports. But um, yeah, so we formed the company to bridge that gap with the development structure. I think it's been a very, uh, very good journey. We started off with uh, about 350 participants, and this year we have over 500 taking part. Uh, in general, we use these events as a way for the kids, you know, they train the whole year round. So this is an event where they can showcase what they've learned throughout the year in a high pressure environment, competing against the best from the region. Okay, so the main reason uh, behind the partnership was we realized very quickly there was a need for a strategic partnership with a credible brand like Gary Kirsten. So a bit of history about him, he won the World Cup as a coach in 2011, as India's head coach. And when we approached him for some coaching courses, he offered to meet up with us instead and work on a longer term agreement where we can maybe um, use the expertise in this region and help develop the game at a more, at a more rapid rate than what we're currently doing. So we jumped on it, we ran a high performance camp in April, which was, um, we had 85 kids and 25 national team players taking part in that camp, uh, where they brought four of their coaches to run the whole program. We also did a coach education workshop, which was to educate our local coaches. We had 30 coaches taking part in that. Kenya is very far ahead in terms of the facilities that we have and uh, the structures we have in place. But of late, we've been competing more closely with the likes of the Ugandans and Tanzanians. So our vision, of course, as we form these partnerships, we want to develop sport in general throughout the region. At the same time, we also obviously have Kenya at heart. We want our, our young players to have the exposure to play against teams like Uganda under 19. So the Ugandans are coming in with a bit of pressure this time as defending champions. Uh, we feel that the Starfleet team is a very strong um, contender for the title this year. We also have the Coast Cricket Association. They formed the under-19 team for the best players from Mombasa. And we feel that they're also quite a strong team. So those, those three teams, I feel, are the main contenders for this year's event. Okay, so we have under-9, under-11, under-13, under-15, and 19. So the idea is each level will compete, obviously, on their own grounds. And we wanted to create a strategic pathway for all these kids to take part, where they're from the seven years old up to 19, they have a way to compete in this tournament. That was the main idea. Uh, so from the Starfield point of view, we have um, former Kenya team coach, Peter Ngwondo. We have former Kenya team players. We have Zuka Soloch, who is a current national team player. We have David Okumu. Um, we have very experienced coaches like uh, Bennett, Oko. And um, for other teams, we have Kanbis, who the, na the coach is a current national team player, Nelson Odiambo. There's some big names taking part this time. It's much bigger than the last event, but we still see a lot of room for growth. Our vision for this tournament is to make a global event where we have teams coming from all over the world, you know, so our, our East African athletes are able to compete against the best in the world, like the Indians and the South Africans. So in Staffing, now I'm currently holding under nine. Those are nine years going just down, just under nine. So I'm dealing with under nine. Those kids who normally want to have fun at cricket, you don't concentrate so much on the technical aspects of the sport. Just keep having fun. Think as a coach, this is the way to go. When you have such things going on, not only for a specific period of time, but for the long term. I think this is a bright future for the kids to play cricket in the long run. At the under-19 level, we have the defending champions, which are Uganda, and they were very good last time. So I'm expecting a big facility that they're going to defend it, but I'm also hoping that our Starfield team, with the preparations that we have had since 
January. I think we have lessons well learned from the previous tournament. So we put our staff together, our house together. So I know so staff will give them a good competition. Mm -hmm. Having associating with Ryan Cook, who is currently the assistant coach of Bangladesh cricket team, I think it was a privilege to us as coaches level two and level three coaches here in Kenya to learn a little bit more on how to approach cricket. Because you know cricket can be competitive at some level. So I think when he came in, he gave us drills and tactics on how to handle players at all particular levels and the game is still ongoing. So we, we have a, a new crop of players who have come in, but I can say with, with the new crop we are still ready to, to defend our title. Of course uh, in cricket we have, uh, Kenya has always been our big brother. Uh, we, we have always uh, looked up to Kenya, they, they played until the semi-finals of the World Cup, they will always remain our big brother. But what I can tell you is we are, we are getting closer. Cricket in kwa na cheza shule primary. Sanko wa wana watu wa kicheza, mini kwa kainja tu kidogo. Na wana vya wana cheza, sanko kaso masuku mwana tajaribu ikitu. Sanko kwa briki kifika hivi na enda na cheza. Sanko kwa na juu wadi kitu, mimi kwa enda tu na shikabati na cheza. Ajifraisha. Yeah, by the time we came to the city, we to understand Kenya and play up and play up. And after we came to the city, we came to the city and train up. The staff field is to train up. They want to train up. They want to play 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 up. So the partnership between uh, Executive Healthcare Solutions and Starfield Youth League started three years ago in 2017. Uh, we are very humbled and proud to be affiliated to sponsoring underprivileged children. We are tapping into the platform by giving them the opportunity to, you know, diversify into their talents. We're giving them the platform, basically. We have over 34 uh, teams, so we're hoping it will be big and uh, pave way for bigger things in the future.